Let's take a look at command line basics. Using cd to navigate to a directory using an absolute path. Let's take a look at where we are, the current working directory. Now, let's use ls to view the contents of the current working directory. We can use the bash built-in command cd to change directories. To use cd, we provide the name of the directory into which we wish to navigate. Let's use pwd to verify that we have changed directories. Notice that in the above invocation of cd, we specified the full path slash home slash lane s slash baz. This style of referring to a directory by its full name shows the use of cd using an absolute path. Let's navigate somewhere else. In the above command, the absolute path that we used was slash user slash local. Notice that an absolute path always begins with a slash. The layout of the Linux directory structure is a tree. There is a single unique root of the file system tree. The notation slash represents the root of the file system. All directories have slash as their ultimate ancestor. Every absolute path begins with slash. Every absolute path specifies a sequence of contains relations, beginning with the current file or directory and ending at the root of the file system. Let's look at another absolute path. we used cd to navigate to slash user slash share slash man. Slash user slash share slash man is an absolute path. Let's decompose this absolute path to understand it better. Man is a directory we can use ls to view its contents. The parent directory of man is share. In other words, the share directory contains the man directory. Let's verify this by using ls to view the share directory. The share directory contains the man directory. The parent directory of share is user. In other words, the user directory contains the share directory. Let's verify this by using ls to view 
the user directory. The user directory contains the share directory. And finally, the parent of user is root. In other words, the root directory contains the user directory. Let's verify this by using ls to view the contents of the root directory. The root directory contains the user directory. This work was created by Lane Schwartz. You are free to reproduce and adapt this work under the terms of the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License.